When NFL players sign their first contract, it immediately changes their lives, often from a modest lifestyle to full access to their every desire. You'll be shocked when you hear what these athletes did once they reached the pros. This is what NFL players bought with their first check. Let's start things off by looking at how the 2023 Super Bowl MVP spent his first paycheck. Patrick Mahomes bought a penthouse in Kansas City for $485,000 in 2017. Pretty nice, but it didn't take Patty long before he established himself and upgraded. He's since sold his penthouse and bought a mansion for $1.9 million, as well as an ownership stake in the Kansas City Royals. Much better, Mahomes. Geez, I would have been fine just staying in the penthouse, but I guess that's why I'm not the one breaking NFL records as a day job. Let's look at what the 2023 runner-up did with his first big check. When Jalen Hurts got drafted to the Eagles, he wanted to make sure he got to know the city. He hit up the mall and bought $1,000 worth of Philadelphia bomber jackets as well as a Philly cheesesteak from Larry's. He also donated about $60,000 to charity in order to share some love with the community. Good on Jalen to give back to his community, and for trying the local cuisine. I've never heard of Larry's, but I've heard of the place this next player spent his check. As soon as Matt Juden was drafted, he headed to his favorite fast food restaurant, Taco Bell. He told reporters that he would have more money than he would know what to do with, so while he pondered how to spend the rest of it, he was going to eat a chalupa. Taco Bell may be delicious, but it's not that exciting. You couldn't think of anything better than that, Juden? McCall Hartman? Now that guy went all out. McCall Hartman went out and bought his parents a house for $300,000 as soon as he got his first NFL paycheck. He said seeing his mom cry was the best feeling of his life. He felt so good that he then filled his parents' garage with two cars, an SUV, and a sports car. But Hartman didn't forget about his own needs either. He got himself a Jeep and a Red Eye Hellcat. He got a bunch of custom work done on the interior and exterior. Finally, he spent $50,000 on shoes, 20 of which he said were over one grand per pair. Not bad, Nicole. Not bad at all. Sometimes the city you get drafted to will impact how you spend your money. Just ask Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson was born in Louisiana where it never snowed. So he was caught by surprise when he was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings. Jefferson was looking forward to buying a new Mercedes-Benz AMG GT63 as soon as he got drafted in the first round. So he did, and he got the whole thing matted out in black like the Batmobile. But he wasn't expecting the Minnesota winters to be quite as cold and snowy as they were. He recalls not even being able to drive his car around the city without sliding and swerving at every corner. So he got himself some snow tires and then spent a few grand on some jackets and warm clothes. This next wide receiver was also from Louisiana, and just like Jefferson, he also went to Louisiana State University. But he didn't get drafted to Minnesota, he got drafted by the Miami Dolphins. So warm clothes were the last thing on his mind. When Landry got drafted by the Dolphins, the first thing he did was he paid off his mom's debt. Landry's mom was about $30,000 in the hole, so Jarvis just wiped that burden right off her plate. He then spent $90,000 on jewelry. Unfortunately, he didn't get it from the right guy. Shortly after purchasing his Rolex, one of the diamonds fell off and Jarvis was like, I don't think that should happen. So he took the rest of the jewelry he bought to get appraised and what do you know, it was all fake. I guess that's why they say when you get paid not to spend it all at the same place. Oof, you've just gotta cringe when you hear that story. 90K on fake jewels? Ugh. The next player on our list did something really special for someone he loved with his first check and definitely was able to feel a little better about his purchase than Jarvis. Ladanian Tomlinson didn't have it easy growing up. His dad left his family when he was only seven years old and he barely saw him after that. LT's mom Lorraine raised him by herself and Ladanian certainly didn't take her for granted. When he was drafted with the fifth overall pick in 2001, he bought his mom a house in a Cadillac Escalade with his first paycheck. He claimed that she made it clear that the Escalade was the car of her choice. Besides that, he banked his check and invested his money for the future. A smart move that unfortunately many players don't make. 
You gotta love LT. The guy was a beast in his prime. He wasn't the only one who spent his first check on his family, though. Another great running back, Saquon Barkley, bought his parents a house with his first NFL paycheck, too. Barkley claimed that he was so grateful for his parents and had been promising them a house for years. He truly believed that he would become a football star and would be rolling in dough. The house Barkley bought his parents was worth $425,000 and was located in New York City. Damn, I want someone to buy me a house too. I guess I got to raise a running back of my own or something. Or maybe I just need my brother to make it. When Heath Evans made it to the NFL, he bought his favorite woman a Mercedes-Benz SUV. Not his mom, but his sister. What a lucky girl. He also claims that he went out for steak dinners every week. The restaurant he indulged in weekly was called Daniel's Broiler. Going for steaks sure doesn't break the bank like some of the other purchases players make, but don't underestimate the amount that dinner bills can add up to over time. Steak every week? Sounds like a delicious way to get clogged arteries, but hey, when you make that kind of dough, you can do what you want. Share some with us, Heath. Next up was another star running back, but he used his first paycheck to buy something for himself. At 5'6 and 220 pounds, Maurice Jones Drew was built like a bowling ball. No wonder he was so hard to tackle. Mojo actually didn't even receive his first paycheck in the NFL. The running back got so excited in his first preseason game that he got his first payday taken away for excessive celebrating. He was forced to learn sportsmanship the hard way. When he finally did get paid, he bought himself an $850,000 house in Jacksonville, Florida. Buying a house is a great investment, but some players want to show off their money in public. Because you can't pull up to a nightclub in a house. When the Steelers drafted Ryan Chazier with the 15th pick in the first round, he thought he was set for life. The linebacker could absolutely fly and was bound to be a pro bowler for a decade. So of course, he went out and bought himself a brand new Porsche. Unfortunately, things didn't go quite as Chazier hoped. Even though his career got off to a torrid start, in his fourth season, he suffered a horrible injury and was never able to return to the NFL. So I hope he saved some of his money too. Driving a Porsche around as a rookie would be pretty sick, but some players don't want all that attention. When Chris Long was drafted second overall in 2008, he decided to go in an entirely different direction with his car purchase. He bought a used sedan off of an old lady. Apparently, he didn't want to stand out as too flashy or obnoxious in front of the veterans on his team. The vets didn't even notice, though. They were too busy spending their money on Bentleys and Cadillacs. When Chris Long eventually came to this realization, he sold his car and upgraded. These guys work hard to earn their first paycheck. Football is a grueling sport, so there's nothing wrong with buying something flashy. Just ask CJ Mosley. CJ Mosley was an athletic freak of nature that could do it all in college. So the Ravens drafted him 17th overall and gave him a $7.5 million rookie signing bonus. As soon as Mosley was handed the check, he bought himself a diamond-encrusted watch. The linebacker immediately flaunted his custom jewelry on his Instagram page and has carved out a very successful NFL career since the purchase. I bet that watch was a heavy piece of ice. The next player on our list tried to get the clout without spending the big bucks. Nate Burleson's first paycheck was for $529,000. So he cashed that baby and then bought himself a Cadillac Escalade to cruise around Minnesota. His next purchases might surprise you. He bought a fake watch and a fake chain. He claimed that since he was a famous football player, no one would ever suspect that the jewelry was fake. So what's the big difference anyway? Hmm, maybe keep that to yourself, Nate. You're not exactly fooling anyone anymore. Buying fake jewelry is a little underwhelming, but who can blame him? Tons of NFL players don't properly save or invest their money while they are making it. But one player strayed from the pack on money mismanagement. That player is Chad Ochocinco. Chad Ochocinco, formerly known as Chad Johnson, entered the league and knew that until he established himself in the league, he was going to save as much money as he could. So, he got permission to sleep at the stadium for his entire rookie year. He didn't date any girls or buy anything fancy either. His sole purpose was to become the greatest wide receiver on the planet. And he reached his goal in 2006 when he led the entire NFL in receiving yards. Ocho Cinco went on to catch over 1,000 yards receiving in seven separate seasons and made millions of dollars playing football he never changed as a person. He is still notoriously cheap. 
I bet anyone who lived at the stadium would become a pro bowler. He was probably practicing all night. Kudos to him for saving his hard-earned money. Just like the player coming in at number 5 on our list. Kroc claims that he still hasn't spent a single penny of any of his NFL paychecks. And that doesn't mean he hasn't been living lavishly. Instead, Gronkowski uses his money that he earned from endorsement deals and side jobs, which is still way more than most people earn in their lifetime. That means Gronk has saved over $70 million from NFL contracts that he can use however he wants in retirement. While saving money is very responsible, there has got to be something satisfying about buying all the things you couldn't afford growing up. Jamar Chase opted to go on a spending spree after he got his first NFL paycheck. Bengals wide receiver Jamar Chase got a near $20 million signing bonus as soon as he put pen to paper and inked his first NFL deal. So he went out and bought all sorts of things. First, he spent $50,000 on clothes and shoes. The brands he opted for were off-white as well as some limited edition Nike sneakers. He then spent another $50,000 on custom jewelry, $20,000 on rookie dinners, and $300,000 on a brand new car. He also had to share some of the wealth with his family. He bought his mom a Maserati and gifted $15,000 to each of his siblings to do whatever they wanted with it. Don't worry about Chase's future though. All those purchases added up to $631,000 and he was able to put the rest of his signing bonus into a savings account. $50,000 on off-white? You gotta be on white to spend that much money on clothes. Thankfully, Chase has a long future in the NFL. This next player thought he did too. Washington drafted Dwayne Haskins in the first round, hoping that he would be the quarterback of their future. They developed him slowly, but at the end of the day, he just wasn't made of the right stuff to lead the team. That doesn't mean he didn't get paid though. Haskins got a big time rookie deal and immediately bought himself a customized matte black Bentley for $250,000. He also bought his mama the house of her dreams. Just cause you don't become the player that you were expected to be doesn't mean you don't earn a life changing amount of money by playing in the NFL. You just gotta sign that first big contract. This college superstar never became much of a player in the NFL but still was able to make a life changing purchase for someone he loved with his first NFL check. In college, AJ McCarron had it all. He was a well-loved quarterback for a storied NCAA school at the University of Alabama. He won championships and even dated Miss Alabama herself. The young woman's name was Katherine Webb and together the couple looked like a match made in heaven. McCarron didn't take his girlfriend for granted either. As soon as he signed his first NFL contract, he bought Katherine Webb a custom designed 5 carat pink diamond engagement ring. Miss Alabama said yes and the rest is history including AJ's career as an NFL player. McCarron didn't quite have the talent to make it in the NFL. This next player had the talent, but still got shunned by the NFL owners. Colin Kaepernick was an extremely talented young quarterback when he entered the league. He saw success while he was starting for the 49ers, but his career was cut short after he started kneeling during the national anthems in protest of police brutality against the black community in America. It was a noble cause, but not the first time that Kaepernick prioritized social causes in his NFL career. When Kaepernick signed his first NFL contract, he gave some money to his adopted parents but also made an oath to donate a significant portion of what he made to various charities. Kaepernick pledged to give $100,000 every month for 10 months to organizations confronting issues of the modern civil rights movement. These issues included ending the school to prison pipeline, policing reform, equal education and justice for black and brown lives. So no matter what you say about Kaepernick, you can't tell me the guy just talked the talk. His entire career, he walked the walk too. There you have it guys, now you know how NFL players spend their first paycheck. Check out the video on your screen right now for more great NFL related content. Thanks for watching.